Chris and I had gone up the Delaware to fish for the weekend. The second day was cold and overcast. There had been a lot of rain and the dam was overflowing a bit and these alewives, these little white bait fish, were flowing over. Everyone had been catching fish uh, on white streamers. We noticed that there were a lot of fish breaking the surface with huge explosive takes. And so we thought we might start to cast them and drift the, and just swing the white streamer across their nose, a bit like salmon fishing really, to see if they would uh, take it on the surface. Chris immediately got into one, but unfortunately lost it. It's a nice fish too. Yeah, golden belly. Oh. We just kept seeing these fish break the surface and she had another go uh, to see if she could get the next one. This fish was huge. Just let it float. Just let it float. There you go, huh? Right there, George. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! I saw one out to the left and just made a cast and just swung it and, uh, and just waited and then it happened. There he is. There's another one back there. <laughs> this is awesome. It's really weird. It was just like salmon fishing in the Delaware for trout. Uh, but they, they were smashing these alewives. And it was so exciting. Okay, this is for clinching the title. Whoa. Right. You see that one in there, Chris? Off the white bushes? Yeah. You can almost reach them from here. Okay, but we're going to concentrate on boating this. The swing. Dead drift swing. <laughs> this may She's brutal. See that one? Yes. Keep the rod down just to stop him from crashing. We 
was just so exciting. It was all Steve's idea. He'd seen these fish smashing the alewives. He said to give it a go. It was the most beautiful fish. This river is extraordinary with the brown trout. Just extraordinary. And I just want to say thanks to Steve.